Good evening, Facebook family. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I am Dr. Monique May, the physician in the kitchen, coming to you tonight. Hopefully you will kick back with a glass of wine because we're going to be talking about food. And I really appreciate you joining me this evening. Uh, just a little bit about me. I am a board certified family physician with 20 years plus of clinical experience, a self-avowed kitchen gadget junkie and lover of all things kitchen. I am your physician in the kitchen. And tonight I will be talking about two pastimes that are a favorite of a lot of people, food and sex. And specifically, how good food can help you have good sex. Be sure to share this broadcast. All you have to do is click the share button at the bottom of the show. And after all, sharing is caring. So share it with your friends. Ladies, you want to be sure to share it with your husbands or significant others. Um, there's going to be some information that will be for the benefit of, your, of both of you. Trust me on that. And be sure to tag your friends as well. So again, I'm Dr. Monique May, a physician in the kitchen, and we're going to get started. So um, tonight I'm discussing how eating a healthy and well-balanced diet can help you not only in the kitchen, but in the bedroom as well. We all know the health benefits of eating healthily. Doctors have been telling us for years uh, why, it's, why you want to eat a healthy diet, right? Helps you lose weight, helps to decrease your chances of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, certain cancers, just to name a few. But did you know that eating certain foods can help to increase your sexual performance for both men and women? Inflammation and oxidation are two processes that cause damage throughout our bodies. And so most of the foods I'm going to be discussing tonight have anti-inflammatory and antioxidative or antioxidation benefits that protect us from day-to-day -day stressors or, or insults such as sunlight, radiation, smoke, pollution, etc. So what should you be getting or what should you be putting on your grocery list to get it cooking in the bedroom? Well, everybody knows about oysters, right? Oysters are a well-known aphrodisiac and their benefit is thought to be due to the high zinc levels that they have, which help with testosterone production. Testosterone is the male hormone and it helps to with uh, increasing both men and women's libido or sex drive and sexual performance. But did you know that avocado is also a good source for, for sexual health? And I have an avocado right here. This is one of my celebrity guests for the night. Uh, just a little side note about avocados. I love these things. And in fact, if you saw my very first live stream, I was wearing a t-shirt that said avocado holic. But these things are like divas. Like they start going bad pretty much like as soon as you leave the store and you have to eat them in the car on the way home. Hi, Mike. How are you? Thanks for joining. So um, just a, a little word or two about how to choose an avocado because you want to have a little bit of time with it before you have to start using it. Unless you're buying it and you want to use it that day, that's fine. But if you're like me and you want to have it ripen on your counter, what you're going to do is get one that's not that's pretty, that's pretty firm to the touch. Your thumb should not go straight in when you push it. And if you pay attention to the little stem here, you want to pull it off. If it's green, it stays on the seam. If it's brown, put it down. So that's what you want to keep in mind when you're shopping for these things in the store. Um, and they can be used in anything. They are, they have such a mild flavor. You can put them in a smoothie. I'll put like half of one in a smoothie. Gives it a nice creamy texture. Omelets, sandwiches, salsa, salads, you name it. Hi, Dr. Janine. So just a little side note about avocado, but um, that's a whole nother show. <laughs> But they are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are a natural mood booster. It can help get you ready for the bedroom action. Because remember, the brain is the biggest sex organ. Sorry to break it to you fellas, but it's the brain because everything starts there. So if you can boost your natural mood enhancers, it's a great way to get things started. Hi, Pamela. Thanks for joining. Another one is asparagus, which has that phallic shape, but it is chock full of B vitamins, B6 and folate, which are important for arousal and orgasm. 
How about a healthy snack? Well, pistachios, just three to four handfuls of pistachios a day can significantly improve a man's a man who is um, suffering from erectile dysfunction in as little as three weeks. And studies have also shown in women who have high cholesterol levels, uh, they may actually suffer from sexual dysfunction as well. Hey, Tamara, thanks for joining. Um, so women with high cholesterol levels can have sexual dissatisfaction, poor sexual performance, difficulty achieving orgasm, decreased lubrication, and um, by, eat, by eating pistachios in three weeks as well, they can see a benefit for them as well. And women can even suffer the female version of erectile dysfunction, which is clitoral dysfunction. And those are, that's caused by blockages in the pelvic organs, in the, excuse me, in the pelvic arteries. So a little more about that. Just say no, nitric oxide that is. No, not nitrous oxide or laughing gas, the stuff you get at the dentist's office, but nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a chemical that is released by the body in the presence or of sexual activity or exercise. It's the chemical that helps the penis relax so that blood flow can enter and cause an erection. And in fact, that's kind of how they stumbled upon Viagra. They were, this, they were um, researching it or developing it as a heart medicine for angina, which means which was chest pain from blocked heart arteries. When they discovered this very interesting side effect and shifted gears and the rest is pharmaceutical history. So on a serious note though, for men who do suffer from erectile dysfunction, hey Dr. Whitaker, um, from men who suffer from um, erectile dysfunction, their doctors really should be doing a full cardiac workup because just like the arteries in the penis can be affected by blockages from high cholesterol, so can the heart arteries. And it's usually just a matter of time before that happens. So men who have erectile dysfunction should be seeing their doctors and not just getting a prescription for Viagra, Cialis, or Levitra. They should be getting EKGs, stress tests, and even cardiac catheterizations where they look in the groin to make sure, to go through the groin to look at the heart arteries to make sure that there is um, that there are no blockages because that will lead, unfortunately, more often than not, to heart attack and sudden cardiac death. So what are some foods that you can eat that increase your nitric oxide levels? Well, there's a bunch of them. Beets, garlic, dark chocolate. Hey, Latasha. Dark leafy green vegetables, like you have uh, arugula, spinach, cabbage, and kale. F some citrus fruits that contain vitamin C, which helps to increase nitric oxide levels. Pomegranate, which has antioxidants. And nuts, seeds, and even watermelon, which also helps to decrease blood pressure. And red wine. So remember I told you guys to get a glass of red wine to watch this? That's why. So men, remember, remember this, fellas. It's all about the sack. If you want to have a better performance in the sack, Make sure you are eating foods from the sack list. And that's spinach, arugula, cabbage, and kale. Those dark green and dark green leafy vegetables, cruciferous vegetables are chock full of nutrients that are helpful for you. And um, you take it from me, your partner will be happy. So for those of you who are trying to conceive, I do want to say a few words about that. You want to be sure to, <laughs> all right, Tamara, that's right, go get you a glass of wine. Um, for those of you who are trying to conceive, um, be sure to increase your walnuts. So fellas, just, just keep it real. Nuts are good for your nuts. So they increase sperm vitality as does eating, again, those dark leafy green vegetables, uh, fruits and veggies like asparagus and bananas, which are full of those antioxidants that we can't get enough of. And all of that helps to increase sperm counts. Foods that are high in zinc can also have, again, we mentioned before, that effect on testosterone levels, and that in turn can increase a man's sperm count, and can also uh, affect a woman's ovaries as well and help her to be able to produce uh, her estrogen and progesterone, the female hormones, as well as testosterone for her as well. Hey, Dr. Dewan, 
So also just general health um, advice as far as if you're trying to conceive or in, in general, but men be sure to lay off the caffeine, excuse me, lay off the uh, stop smoking, n avoid excess alcohol, spending too much time in hot tubs, on bicycles, and wearing tight constrictive underwear. So how do we put all this together? We've talked about sex and food and now, like, so what do you do with this information? Well, let's plan an ideal date night dinner menu. But be sure, you know, you got this date coming up. You want to make sure you don't sabotage yourself before the date. So try to eat lighter during that week or during that day and avoid dairy, avoid meat, heavy things that are going to weigh you down. You want a light, refreshing meal to keep things light and, and, and easy. So for an appetizer, my friend, the avocado is back. So you can have it as a... Um, as, as a guacamole, um, oysters, if that's your thing. But I do have a, a word of caution about that. If you are, if you have an impaired or unhealthy immune system, you do want to avoid that. If you are suffering from diabetes or HIV or cancer and are on anything that suppresses your immune system, like high doses of steroids, definitely recommend you avoid eating raw or undercooked foods. Don't want to get a nasty foodborne illness. <clears throat> from eating the, the oysters um but again there are other options my other celebrity guest tomatoes and these are like just the best thing you can buy these in the store i love the tri-color because you get first of all they're pretty it's just pretty and i just like pretty food but you can wash these things and eat them like fruit which they actually are but they're so sweet and delicious hi tyler uh, thanks for joining so and they also have their own health benefits the red tomatoes have lycopene, which is helpful in protecting your skin from sun damage, as well as reducing the risk for prostate and breast cancers. You have the yellow, which has antioxidants, which help decrease um, aging, the aging effects of the sun on your skin. And then you have the orange ones, which are high in vitamin E, which help skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. So you can make a nice, lovely watermelon and arugula and tomato salad and top it off with a little bit of uh, feta cheese and even a, some chop up some fresh mint. And now you've got fresh breath. Win-win. Who doesn't like that? So for your entree, grilled salmon or baked or however you want to make it. But again, that's going to be high in those omega-3 fatty acids that we talked about help boost the brain and get things going. Um, eating beets as either a risotto or with a pasta. Because again, I just think it's pretty. The bright red color just makes a pretty plate. And you can um, accompany that with any vegetable, a dark green leafy vegetable, asparagus or spinach. Um, and even though fish is typically served with a white wine, if you want to boost up your chances even more, I would recommend a red wine. But you do want to pick one with a low tannin level because that way you don't get the metallic taste. Even though fish is typically served with white wine, again, if you want more bang for your buck, so to speak, um, maybe look into a, a red wine. But again, I'm not a wine expert. That's the one, only, one and only red or wine tip you're going to get from me. But just make sure that it's low in tannin levels. And then for dessert, best part, you can have dark chocolate dipped strawberries or a decadent dark chocolate and avocado mousse. So there, you have hopefully some new information that you're going to go out and use, have some good food and some great sex, and hopefully spice up the um, your love life. So until next time, oh, Natasha, best type of fish? Salmon. Any of your, of your fatty fishes are going to be good for this because they have the high omega-3 content. So um, salmon, mackerel, cod, any of those type things. But salmon is my personal favorite, so that's why I made the, the menu. So until next time, this is Dr. Monique May, your physician in the kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Be sure to um, follow me on social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, and LinkedIn at Dr. Monique May. That's D-R-M-O-N-I-Q-U-E-M-A-Y. Until next time, see you in the kitchen.